hello guys welcome back to another video in this one we are going to solve question number 21 which is the part of CBSE sample paper for accountancy 2024 if you have missed out the previous solutions do check them out the entire playlist in the is in the description box below and the link to the CBSE sample paper is also there if you want to get notified whenever a new video is shared you have to click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon without further ado let's get started this is a balance sheet sum as you can see we are required to prepare the share capital along with the notes to accounts we have Atish Yokti company Atish Yokti limited company was registered with an authorized capital of rupees 20 lakh divided into 2 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each payable 3 on application 6 on allotment including 1 rupee premium and the balance on the call let's calculate how much is on the call 3 on application, 5 on allotment excluding the premium, 5 plus 3 is 8, so the balance 2 rupees is on the call. Alright. The company offered 80,000 shares for public subscription. This becomes our issued capital and this becomes our authorized capital. Right. All the money has been duly called and received except allotment and call money on 5,000 shares held by Manish and call money on 4,000 shares held by Alok. Right? Manish's shares were forfeited and out of these 3,000 shares were reissued at Rs 9 per share as fully paid up. We are required to prepare share capital and the notes to accounts. So let's do it. The notes to accounts, note number one. First one we have to write is authorized capital. Okay, so we have 2 lakh equity shares. of rupees 10 each that comes to 20 lakhs as already given in the question and as you know this is not used for any further calculation this is only for information purpose so we just mark it this with a double line second comes the issued capital we have 80,000 shares as already discussed 80,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each that is 8 lakh okay double line here as well next comes the subscribed capital okay under this we have two subheads as you are aware first one is subscribed and fully paid Okay, let's do the calculation. How much do we have under this category? Total issued is 80,000. Okay, out of that, we have defaulters on 5,000 and 4,000, but again, 5,000 shares were forfeited, right? So, if I do a subtraction 5,000 and 4,000, total 9,000 from 80,000, we get 71,000. Okay, out of 71,000, then out of these 9,000 shares, uh, 5,000 were forfeited and 3,000 were reissued. So 71,000 plus 3,000 becomes 74,000, right? These are the total issued capital that these are fully subscribed. So 74,000 equity share capital, equity shares of rupees 10 each. That becomes 7,40,000 okay then we have subscribed and but not fully paid under that we have these 4000 shares of alok that were not forfeited yet so those are still lying in this category so 4000 equity shares of rupees 10 each Let's write that in the inner column, that is 40,000. Then we have to subtract the calls in arrears. All right, that is how much? On these 4,000 shares, we did not receive the call money only. Okay, as clearly mentioned here, 
call money on 4000 shares were not received so that is 2 per share that becomes 8000 that we subtract and we get 32000 here all right and next that we have to do is the for feature add share for feature account right for forfeited shares add forfeited shares now these will have the shares which are not reissued the balance shares out of the 5000 shares that were forfeited 3000 were reissued 3000 shares so how much is remaining 2000 okay and there the value that will be is the amount forfeited on each share these 5000 shares of manish they on these we did not receive the allotment and the call money that means we only received the application money of 3 rupees per share that is the amount that has been forfeited per share so for here this will be 2000 into 3 that comes to 6000 all right so we do do a total of this which is coming to 7 lakh 78 thousand and this becomes our answer here and this is what we write 7 lakh 78 thousand in the share capital in the balance sheet hope this was helpful hit the like button if this really helps you to understand these concepts better and share with your friend as well who do you think can benefit out of it as well thanks for watching we'll catch you all in the next video with the next series of sums that we have stay tuned